morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today is Tuesday the 20th of December. I feel very out of practice. I didn't vlog at all yesterday and you know what? It was actually glorious. <laughs> it was nice to uh, take that day um, because I'd pre-recorded the vlog that's going up today um, because of the sponsorship. So um, yes, hello. We are very close to Christmas time and it's very exciting. I feel ready to check out of my business and have done for a couple of days now. Yesterday, I'll catch you up on what happened. Yesterday we found out that a couple of our friends have had, has had their baby a few weeks early. I don't actually know what their due date was, but it was January and they had it either Sunday or Monday. So I'm panic knitting some tiny socks because they've ordered some bits from Mario, so I'm just gonna wrap up these tiny socks and pop them in the parcel. Um, they're very cute. I knit them during D&D yesterday. Um, they are absolutely adorable. I mean, I folded the leg down, and I'm 100% going to make another pair because they were very enjoyable to knit. Um, but even one pair is, you know, still, it's just a gesture, you know how it is. And, um, what do I wrapped so many presents and finalized so many Christmas presents. I wound up some yarn for some recipients. Uh, I don't think they watch videos anyway, but anyway, uh, because my sister is traveling southwards today. Yes. Um, and then came around for D&D &D last night and so she took them all down with her. So I needed to get them all done and all ready to go. Mary went into work and sorted out what he needs to make this week. He's got 33 pies to make. That's a lot of pies, that's a lot of pies. Uh, so he's gone into work today. It is currently, I think, 20 to 12. Um, I slept until eight o'clock this morning, which is very unlike me. Mary got up at half past five. Oh, there's a cat behind the tree. Um, Misa came upstairs and slept on my chest and it was the cutest thing ever. And yeah, I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I think I'm just like run down and tired. I feel a cold brewing. Um, I will continue to take COVID tests because I do still have some uh, thus far negative. So I just think it's I'm just probably just a bit run down, truth be told. I need to go to the post office because I do need to post something off. Water to the dye shed has defrosted, which means we can technically dye yarn. Don't know if I will today. It was very nice having the excuse to not dye yarn. You know, everyone has bits of jobs they don't enjoy. I don't not enjoy dyeing yarn. I don't enjoy starting to dye yarn. Sometimes I wake up and I'm so jazzed. Uh, sometimes I wake up and I'm not jazzed. Today is the not jazzed day, so I'm not going to try and force myself to be jazzed. Um, I'm just going to kind of roll with the punches because I've done this before. I have gone to dye yarn and then I've only done half the amount I needed to do and then I'm like, ugh, what a waste of time. And sometimes I've woken up needing to dye yarn and I'm like, ugh, I have to dye yarn. And then I don't do it and then I, the next day I wake up and I'm like, yes, let's do this. So I'm going to gear myself up all day to dye yarn tomorrow. Because 23rd and 24th we've got Royal Mail Strikes anyway. And um, also, what was I saying? We've got Royal Mail Strikes anyway. And um, there's such a backlog of parcels. There's such a backlog. And I don't want to like add to the heap. So I will be shipping them in betwixtmas along with all of the um, sales stuff. And have I just made myself my life worse by doubling the, pack the packaging I have to do? Yes. But it does mean that now I'm not in a rush to dye the yarn club, uh, which is a bit of a relief. So I've got some more tiny baby socks to knit. I've got Mary's hat to knit. I might take myself for a walk because it's a very nice day and it's meant to rain all week. Go to the post office, then go off, take myself off for a bit of a jaunt, and then come back and see what the hippity hap is. Because, yeah, I'm just, all I want to do today is sleep. I'm just, I'm tapped out and I don't know why. 
So I feel a bit bad that I'm shipping this so close to Christmas because um, it's obviously not going to get there now um, in time for Christmas. But I was going to dye up some colourways, especially for the person um, who I'm doing Secret Santa with uh, and frozen pipes. That was too but I just, you know, took it upon myself to look at yarn that I already have and try and pick some colours that I think would be suitable for them and wrapped it in this very fun gingerbread house paper and it's going in an old Amazon box because reduce, reuse, recycle and I'll ship it special delivery even though it's probably still not going to get there but we can but try we can but try also I'm not the only person in the group not to have shipped those yet so I don't feel as bad Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, let me get the tape and let me tape this up. I don't think I have much tape left. I need to get some more parcel tape. Right, all packed up, ready to go. I now have a cat up here to get out from up here. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck on that one. <laughs> Come on in. Um, bought the bubs a new cat bed it's lovely it's large it's got a dangly thing it's snuggly it's cute it's comfortable they're both in the tiny one <laughs> cats they have been in the new one in all fairness but they obviously just want to snuggle right now bless them hi there I had a few of you say that you don't mind the chatty vlogs and that you actually quite enjoy the chatty vlogs, which I very much um, like hearing from you because I like filming the chatty vlogs. And I feel like I haven't spoken to you in a while because I didn't talk to you at all yesterday. And brew, it's chilly. I've just put the heating on. <laughs> it's cold. It's a chilly one. And this is quite a wide neckline. You can see my t-shirt underneath. It's my crit and knit t-shirt. Um, yes, anyway, it's red, it's festive. So, uh, yes, so I went to town, I posted off the Secret Santa present, I then went on a detour back, I did a longer jaunt, let's put this pillow where it belongs, a longer jaunt than uh, back than I needed to, uh, which was quite nice, but at the same time, didn't really do anything, and yeah, I just, just feel a bit run down today, truth be told, um, I don't, I don't know why, it's just sometimes these days happen. So I have made myself another cup of tea and I thought we could do a tiny spot of advent time. Um, if you don't mind, we're on to day 21 of advent time. I'm very sad that I'm uh, very soon I'm not going to be having a little presents to myself every day. So three advent calendars. We have the Chromatic Yarns advent calendar. That is my own hand dyed yarn. That is all dyed in colours inspired by the game Dungeons and Dragons. Tabletop role playing game in which you create a character, roll dice and do things. I also have a Cast Few Yarns advent calendar. That is a fade advent calendar and we're going through mermaidy shades. We're into the greens at the moment. And then uh, I have a Bird and Blend tea advent calendar that they were so kind 
to send to me because I am an affiliate with them. So if you would like any tea, please check the description box below. I have also linked Jen's website and my own. Basically, I try and put as much information as I can in the description box. I don't know if anyone ever looks at it or reads it, but yeah, it's there if you would like it. Let's start out, as always, with the Chromatic Yarns Advent. Jen, twinning. We're twinning. Not everyone got the same colour bags on the day that I did. I did three days of packaging my advents. So each day I packaged 32 advents. And then, um, so I cycled through what colours I did at one what day. But, Jen, the same. Better blend, I don't think have pink. Anyway. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot I dyed this colourway. So this colourway is called Wall of Thorns. You know, okay, you know, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I've talk, talked about it, spoken about it a little bit. Uh, I'm picking the skin around my fingers like nobody's business at the moment, so I apologise. Um, Disney Dreamlight Valley is a game that came out in October? September? It came out in autumn. And... There are little bundles of thorns that you just kind of have to whoosh away every now and then and they come back and it's the darkness spreading and magic. They're kind of like Maleficent's thorns. Anyway, so I was dying up the last few colours colourways for um, the advent and I was like, you know, it would be really cool. One inspired by those thorns, so it's technically Disney inspired, but it's not because Wall of Thorns. And also the colours are completely different. <laughs> those thorns in it but that's what I was trying to kind of give the idea of as I was dyeing it but oh it's really fun this one very much so yes this is all of thorns next up we have the Castle View Yarns Advent Calendar can't get over what a beautiful day it is it rained all day yesterday in all fairness we probably needed it because we hadn't had any in such a long time ah <gasps> pretty 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 very pretty. This colourway is called Melody Gleaming Rose and yes we're into turquoisey greens and oh so pretty. This one is so pretty. So pretty. What are you knitting with your yarn advent calendars this year? I know I've done like two videos talking about ideas that I could do with them. Maybe I need to go back through my list and have another looksy loo because um yeah, I'm excited to work out what I want to knit with it. Also, I'm trying to cycle through my friends' advent calendars so I don't get like the same one every time. Um, so I need to, I mean, I'll obviously wait and see till nearer the time because not everyone will might do advents again, but I'm a little bit excited for next year already. Am I thinking too far in advance? I haven't even knit either of my advent calendars this year and I'm already thinking about next year. It's exciting, it's exciting. And then we have the Bird and Blend Tea Advent Calendar. Let you look first. Mint Pistachio, mm, mint pistachio. Heavenly Persian Mint and Pistachio. It's in a black tea, so it's a Sri Lankan black tea. Peppermint, cardamom and natural flavorings. May contain traces of nuts I mean, it's, and pistachio. I didn't know if it would be like the flavor notes instead of actually being pistachio. I don't know if I would like this with milk, but it's, it does smell quite nice. Hmm. Might have to give that one a go. I've just got Yorkshire Tea Biscuit Brew on the go at the moment because I couldn't be bothered to choose a tea. And like I said, if I don't want to choose a tea, this is the tea I go for. I don't know. I'm in a low effort kind of mood today. It's all right, I'll come back screaming and shouting tomorrow. It's just like in normal times, I probably wouldn't have vlogged today, but we're not in normal times, we're in vlogmas times. Also, if I if my friends hadn't had their baby, I would have got so much of this knit during D&D um, &D yesterday, but that's okay because I knit two adorable baby socks. So yeah, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just give them one pair of baby socks and then I'll go back to concentrating on knitting and finishing this hat. Otherwise it's never going to get done for Christmas. Because did I touch it yesterday? No. No, I did not. Um, 
my bad. It is good to know that I'm not the only person that is uh, stressed about gift knitting. And I'm not really super stressed in all fairness. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of people have said in comments that they also are in the uh, last minute push of gift knitting. So yeah, there was one year where I hand knit socks for loads of people. It was the year I started knitting socks and I was so excited to do it. Um, I've since learned don't don't do that because not everyone appreciates hand knit gifts the way that I would appreciate a hand knit gift. That's why my mum likes knitting me jumpers and likes knitting Mario jumpers because she knows we will wear the jumpers and appreciate the jumpers. Behold, a hand knit jumper. Um, but yeah, you kind of not everyone, even if they are knit worthy people, not everyone needs a hand knit gift because. Not everyone will appreciate it and look after it and wear it, you know? I've gifted socks to some people that I have never ever seen them on the feet of, so... Yeah. Lessons learnt. Make sure that people actually want the things that you knit for them. Otherwise it's going to hurt a little bit. A little bit. Hey folks, so it is now much later in the day. As you can probably tell, Miso ate some of the tree and was sick again. So I need to keep an eye on that. I'm pretty sure it's just a hairball that either needs to come up or came up or whatever. So, it's fine. Cleaned it all up. She seems to be fine. She fell asleep on me for so long. So long. It was really cute. I also fell asleep. I feel much better because of the nap though. So that is always a definite plus thank you so much for watching today's video i'm sorry it's been a bit of a weird one again um if you've watched vlogmas before you will know or just my vlogs in general i do get in these moods sometimes but especially in vlogmas uh, because i'm vlogging every day and some days i just i'm in a weird mood and you know what that's okay so thank you so so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did Please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. What did you get up to today? The daily check-in. We love to see it. I'm going to be editing this this evening whilst Mario games with his friends, so I don't have to do it tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be delightful. We're currently uploading every day in the run-up to Christmas with four days left to go because I will also be posting on Christmas Day. And, um, yeah. I think that's everything that I have to say. So, thank you once again so, so much for watching. And I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video. Hopefully this spot will have improved. Or at least I could at least put a bit of makeup on, really, couldn't I? Stop being so uh, so lazy about it. 